Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 53 of the Stimulus Package. Okay, so y'all, I have on my heart earrings today because we're talking about heart health. So life hits us from all different directions and we always have to deal with things internally, externally, spiritually, emotionally. It's just so many different factors and facets to the things that we have to deal with. And I think that it's so important that we have you know, processes in place uh, and things that we can implement in order to help us, you know, work through our mess, work through our problems, and really just try to um, find a solution. The more times you get hit, the more likely that you will start leaking hope. And what I mean by leaking hope is like you start losing hope. And depending on the person and the work that they've done, you very well may be okay and may be the type of person that gets stronger as they get hit. But if you are a person that tends to struggle with bouncing back or being resilient or coming back after a setback, you may want to really evaluate how you're handling situations or evaluate the support that you have in place. This week, I'm really, I really just want to encourage you to like tend to your spiritual heart and make sure that, you know, you remember that God is still God no matter what's going on in your world. And although you may be getting hit, you may be losing strength or losing hope, as long as your hope and your confidence and your faith is in God, he can replenish anything that you lost. Oh, and as the kids say, he gonna give you that and add tax to it, right? <laughs> I just really want you to understand that nothing in life is stronger than God and nothing is stronger than love either. I think that we do a great job tending to our physical health. Like our heart health is probably very good when it comes to the physical. But when it comes to the spiritual, I think that we all tend to like fall back or try not to like deal with it because we know that that requires a process and it requires a time for us to go through some darkness or go through some things, right? And so the crazy thing about it is we don't realize in the moment that going through that process and unpacking those things is really strengthening us because we feel physically weak. But in reality, that's what it's doing. In reality, God is allowing us to be fully open and vulnerable and just like uh, free with him. And when we do that, when we allow God that kind of access and we are really just honest with him, he's able to help us um understand how to deal with those things and extract the value from the lesson, right? We put too much emphasis on the physical when we need to put more emphasis on the spiritual. And basically this week, I want to encourage you to take a look at your life and make sure that you are dealing with the things that you try to sweep under the rug. Also, make sure that you are um, implementing processes and things in your life that will help you unpack that toxic stuff so that you won't be carrying that around with you. The mental battles that we have in our head stops us from actually living. It stops us from actually doing whatever it is God is calling us to do. It distracts us. So the quicker you handle that, the more you put emphasis on being well across the board physically, spiritually, emotionally, um, mentally, the better your quality of life will be. And I just want to also remind you that nothing you've been through Nothing that you have uh, experienced is too hard for God to, to deliver you from or conquer. So he's bigger than everything. He's got more love in his pinky than the world has. He has more strength in his pinky than the world has. And it's like, he is the ultimate source. So whatever is stripped from us, just know that God is there and God is able to recover, replenish, and restore anything you've lost. So go to him, always ask for his wisdom, always ask for his grace and mercy, and continue to live uh, from abundance. God loves you so much that he wants you to be strong in heart, strong in body, strong in spirit. He wants you to be cohesive across the board and like really live a, a life of abundance overall, just a life of abundance. And that's in everything, not just in tangible things that you can touch. That's in your spirit and in your joy. So this week, y'all really focus on 
uh, evaluating where you are and, and how you're feeling and understand that um, your faith does not lie in physical things. Your faith lies in God. And whenever you put your faith and your confidence and your hope in God, no matter what hits you or how life tries to snatch it from you, he will always give you that back times 10. All right, y'all, until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. I love y'all, and I pray that y'all have a great week. Be sure to come follow us on all social media platforms at Level 27 Coaching. And also come by our website and subscribe to our Spark Plug Club at www.level27coaching.com. All right, love y'all. Talk to y'all next week. All right, bye.